Welcome to the Recipients of Honor YouTube channel. This channel is dedicated to telling the stories of Medal of Honor recipients. This is the story of the first Marine Corps Medal of Honor recipient, Corporal John F. Mackey. Mackey's story begins in 1835, when he was born on October 1st in New York City. Mackey worked as a silversmith for a few years before he enlisted in the Marine Corps at the age of 25. Just after the American Civil War began, he took his oath at the Brooklyn Navy Yard on April 24, 1861. He received his first assignment to the USS Savannah. It was a year later when he transferred to the USS Galena that Corporal John F. Mackey would act courageously to earn the Medal of Honor. April 1st of 1862, Mackey was transferred to the ironclad USS Galena. A month later, on May 15th, the USS Galena would be a part of a squadron that was intending to attack Richmond, a capital for the Confederates. The squadron consisted of two wooden gunboats, the Aroostook and Port Royal, as well as two ironclads, the Monitor and the Nagatuck. Traveling up the James River, the squadron would find a strong Confederate resistance from Fort Darling, which is located at Dremgold's Bluff. Fort Darling was about 8 miles from Richmond and provided an excellent defensive view for the Confederates. It was located on a bend 100 feet above the river. The conditions provided a great viewpoint and allowed the Confederates to have a 1 mile radius of unobstructed view of the James River. In addition to their excellent positioning, the banks of the river were manned by about 160 Confederate Marines and the CSS Virginia. There was virtually no chance of a stealthy naval attack from the Union Marines. The only option the Union squadron had was to charge past the fort. Union Commander John Rogers Jr. had planned for the Galena to use its firepower and destroy the defensive obstacles, which would allow the rest of the squadron to charge through onto Richmond. On the morning of May 15, 1862, the Galena took position to fire upon Fort Darling. To the shock of Mackey and the squadron, the Confederates took the offensive and began an intensive rain of fire before the Galena even fired a shot. The squadron would have no opportunity to steam past the fort and found themselves stuck in a fight for survival. The Nagatuck would have a malfunctioning gun and had to retreat. The Monitor moved up with the Galena to begin shelling the fort, but the Monitor's guns didn't have the elevation to strike. The Monitor would have no choice but to maneuver back in retreat. Confederate artillery overpowered the wooden gunboats that forced another retreat. The Galena would be left alone to fight. Mackey and his fellow Marines knew the only chance of survival would be to man their guns in an attempt to silence the Confederate firepower. Though two Confederate guns were taken out, the artillery from the Confederates disabled the Galena's guns. The Marines of the Galena found it hard to gain footing from the blood that covered the decks, making their shots inaccurate. Mackey witnessed the gore of the battle and realized he's in a fight for survival. Mackey quickly gathered his command of 12 Marines and returned a gun to working order. Their first shot disabled the Confederate gun. Mackey and his fellow Marines manned their guns until Commander Rogers gave the withdraw order and the Galena retreated. Mackey's and the Galena's mission would not be successful that day. Despite the overwhelming Confederate defenses, John Mackey would act courageously with his fellow Marines. It was on July 8th of 1862 that President Abraham Lincoln and the Secretary of Navy Gideon Wells would board the USS Galena in Harrison's Landing, Virginia. President Lincoln was surprised that there were any survivors after seeing the damage that the Galena had endured. Commander Rogers would give recognition to three crew members. Those three people would be Quartermaster Jeremiah Reagan, First Class Fireman Charles Kenyon, and Corporal John F. Mackey. Lincoln gave thanks to each individual for their service and heroism. He then ordered the Secretary of the Navy to ensure that each man received a promotion and the Medal of Honor. It was the first and only time that a president has ordered a service member to receive the Medal of Honor and John F. Mackey would become the first Marine to earn the Medal of Honor. Mackey would receive a ceremony for earning the Medal of Honor in July of 1863 aboard his new assignment, the USS Seminole. Mackey's citation read, 
On board the USS Galena, in the attack on Fort Darling at Drury's Bluff, James River on 15 May 1862. As enemy shell fire raked the deck of his ship, Corporal Mackey fearlessly maintained his musket fire against the rifle pits along the shore and, when ordered to fill vacancies at guns caused by men wounded and killed in action, manned the weapon with skill and courage. On October 11th of 1863, Mackey received his medal through the mail from the U.S. Postal Service. August 23rd of 1865, Mackey was honorably discharged from the Marine Corps as an orderly sergeant. He moved near Philadelphia and lived out the rest of his days with his wife until his death on June 18, 1910. He was 74 years old. Mackey is buried in Arlington Cemetery located in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. Though facing overwhelming firepower, Corporal John F. Mackey would become the first Marine to receive the Medal of Honor for his courageous actions and set a standard that many future Marines would follow. Thanks for watching.